I'm sorry to say Percy's idea to get rid of Daisy didn't pan out. After poisoning her, he had thrown her body into a ditch where she was easily discovered. The diesel rail car was repaired and returned to service. Needless to say, she was very ticked off at Percy. I'm very ticked off at you, Percy, she began. Why did you think poisoning me was a good idea? Because it worked, he replied. This is ridiculous. How can they fix you up so quickly but not Thomas? Maybe at long last we've toppled the patriarchy. Needless to say, that wasn't the last time cringe befell the branch line. She resumed her activist activities, which drove the passengers away. It got so bad, Percy and Toby decided to do something. Nothing violent, Toby began. We need to try a different approach. Like what? Percy asked. Talking to her? You can't reason with an activist. No, you can't. Maybe we can scare her off. How? Toby explained his idea, and Percy was very much on board. That night, when Daisy returned to the shed, she was stunned to find a ghost in her berth. Who are you? She exclaimed. I am the ghost of the patriarchy, it claimed. You have taken my life. Now I shall haunt you for all eternity. The rail car was scared witless. She backed away from the sheds and thundered down the line as fast as she could. When she was out of sight, Percy removed his costume and started laughing. Ha! Ah, he began. That worked better than... What was that? Great, Great. I'm, I'm actually, actually dead. dead. And, and your, your ass is haunted. haunted. Oh, bother.